guys, so long time, no talk. Obviously I've been MIA from YouTube for like a good ooh, a few weeks, almost a month, and I have a good explanation for it because little did I know I thought January, first month of 2017 would be my month. Uh, turns out it was most definitely not my month. So just to give you a little background, um, I got really sick for the first couple weeks for sure of January and I was in and out of the hospital and pretty much on bed rest for a long time so I could not do anything I wasn't allowed to go to work um, I wasn't allowed to go to the gym I wasn't allowed to go skiing I wasn't allowed to do much so I mean in that time you would think okay she could film some YouTube videos and edit no like my brain could not comprehend that like it was so what's the word like it would get tired and it couldn't concentrate on doing tasks um, because I was so weak so I was pretty much just binge watching television shows and finished a bunch of television series. So that was the majority of my month. Um, on top of being sick and not being able to go to work and do any fun activities like go skiing and be out there and adventurous, um, my sister spilled coffee on my laptop in the middle of Starbucks and it literally started glitching and it wouldn't turn on. So I was crying on the phone with Apple trying to explain my story and that was also not a great moment. After that, my phone got stolen when I was in downtown Toronto, so another thing to add to the list. And then, this is a small thing, but to me, you know, it means a lot. Um, my Jeffree Star highlighter in the shade Ice Cold shattered yesterday. So I have a bunch of stuff to share with you in the month of January that were my favorites, even though, you know, it wasn't the greatest month. I do have some products to share with you today. And a majority of them aren't even beauty related. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting to show some more lifestyle favorites and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just jump on in into the products I have to show you. By the way, I'm not wearing my clothes today. I'm wearing my friend Megan's shirt and I thought it was really cute. It's like this rose colored, dusty rose, like off, not, not off the shoulder, like cold shoulder and it's from Dynamite. If you were wondering, thanks Megan. So my first beauty favorite of the month would definitely have to be my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, I'm not hugely into drugstore makeup just because I have adapted to, you know, saving a little bit more money and then spending it on more high-end products because I feel like they do a better job, at least in some makeup categories. But this concealer is, I kid you not, a dupe to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that's like triple or quadruple the price of this. So honestly, after buying this one, I prefer this one. Like it's creamier and okay, it does crease a little bit, but I thought the NARS one also did that same thing so if it's gonna do the same thing you might as well just go with the less expensive version so then when you run out and you buy another one you don't feel like you're breaking the bank so I'm in the shade um, fair 15 and I don't know how many shades they have in the collection because I know this one doesn't exactly match my skin um, but I do use it for under my eyes and um, a little bit of blemishes definitely recommend the fit me line I've also tried their foundation in the past and didn't have anything bad to say about it so try this out the next product I have to share with you is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation and it is a skin brightening, illuminating foundation with the vitamin C in it. And I love the packaging, um, I like how it has the bright orange lid, has a little like crown on it and it's glass and it has a pump. I know a lot of, um, you know, beauty enthusiasts on YouTube uh, get frustrated when they're buying foundation from the drugstore because they don't have pumps and a lot of high-end brands tend to have that but I feel like you're also paying for that um, but I found out about this foundation through I think it was Tanya Burr on YouTube I know she talks about it a ton and I wanted a new foundation again didn't want to break the bag so I purchased this one and I love it it's pretty full coverage okay it's more medium so coverage so it is buildable but it can look kicky if you build it up a little too much so just be a little wary of that um, I think I've said this in my past videos but I really like a full coverage foundation when I'm wearing foundation. I'm not into the light to medium coverage. If I'm wearing makeup, it's like makeup. Like it is full coverage, heavy duty, covers everything or as much as I can. So um, yeah, this is in the shade, jeez, it doesn't even say. This is in the shade Ivory. So as we can tell, I'm in the very fair skinned category. I feel like I'm just mentioning all face products, but that's just what my skin and what I've been loving. So the next product I have to show you is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. Absolutely love this stuff. So talked about on YouTube. Everybody loves it. Um, I don't really like it for traveling though because it makes a freaking mess in my makeup bag, in my suitcase, in whatever I'm traveling with this 
in. Um, I like it to set my under eyes, especially with like a dewy or concealer, like this Maybelline one. And then obviously in the spots I get oily, so like my forehead and my nose, pretty much the T-zone area. Um, it's not like a full coverage powder, it's more just to set stuff. So um, hence why it's a setting powder. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a little more pricey from Sephora. But, I mean, I think it's worth every penny. It's pretty darn big and you get a good amount of product. It takes a while for me to get through one of these. I was just going to show one of these products, but then I was like, you know what? They go hand in hand. I use them together. They're a great brand. I might as well just show you both. This video is not sponsored, by the way, because I will pull up two products that are from the same company. But, um, no, this is completely my money. I bought these and I love them. So, the first thing is the Simple Sensitive Skin um, Moisturizing Facial Wash. Love this stuff. Love this brand. Um, there's no perfumes, like perfume odors or dyes in it. It's really gentle on the skin and it does its job. It really just gets out all the dirt, any excess makeup off your skin and just leaves it feeling healthier and clean. Um, it's not exfoliating, like it doesn't have, um, what's it called, like little micro beads or anything. This is like a daily facial wash that, that I use at the end of the night um, after full face of makeup or not. Um, and then after I use this, it does dry out my skin a little bit, so I go in with the Simple Sensitive Skin, um, uh, what's this called, face cream, facial cream, whatever. Um, and this one also has SPF, I think, SPF of 15. I love wearing these products together, well, not wearing them, but using them together, I feel like they make a good combo for my skin. If you're wondering, my skin is more dry, normal dry, uh, my mom is both, she's oily and dry, my sister, I'm pretty sure is a combination as well, so... I'm pretty sure my sisters used this before too and didn't mind it, but for my skin type, I think it works just perfect. The next product I have to show you might be like a little weird to show, but I'm going to show it anyway, and it's a deodorant. And I've had like love-hate relationships with deodorants, like I've tried, you know, multiple ones, like organic ones, ones without aluminum, ones with um, no per like perfume scents, and I've literally tried so much. But I feel they either wear off too quickly, they like stain your clothes, or not stain them, but like leave that white mark, and I'm just really not about it. So I came across this deodorant in the drugstore one day, and it's by Dove, and it's the dry spray. This is in the original scent. It kind of smells like laundry detergent, if you ask me, which I like to smell like that, because I think it's really clean and fresh. But yeah, it's a spray, and you just, I don't want to spray it on camera, but it comes in different scents. You spray underneath your arms, and I find it lasts for a good amount of time, and it doesn't leave any gross residue or get on your clothes, transfer onto your clothes or anything like that. That. It says 48 hour protection. I don't think it quite lasts 48 hours. I would recommend highly to reapply after like six or so. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's a little excessive. 48 hours. On to my non-beauty favorites. So the first thing I have to show you, I started picking up books again and reading them. I know, crazy, right? Um, life just got busy and I was making excuses not to read, which I don't know why because I really enjoyed picking up a novel, getting lost into a storyline, um, you know, making that connection with the author's thoughts. So I picked up this book and it's going to be awkward for me to show because I don't cuss on my channel or use profanity or anything like that, but this is what it is called. And I like how bright this cover is, first of all, because it just catches your eye in a bookstore. But um, basically, it's a self-help book. And whether you think you need help or self-help or what, I don't even know what category to put under, you need it or not, I think that everyone should read this book because it is just so relatable and straight to the point and they make it humorous at the same time. You know, you don't feel like you're sitting there crying being like, this is so me! Like, it's, it's a good, it's like an enjoyable book. Like, I sit down and like want to read more. Like, I like to read it in doses. I don't like to read like chapters and chapters and hours on end because I feel like I kind of get lost in the content um, because there are different chapters on you know different aspects of self-help so it's by um, Michael I Bennett and MD and Sarah Bennett so they're related and it's one shrinks practical advice for managing all life's impossible problems and I can't like explain it any other way than it's just a book everyone should read 17 18 years old and on just because younger kids who are not going to understand this and don't really need to be reading this. I'm kind of cheating because I haven't read the whole thing yet. I'm about halfway through, but I really want to include this month's favorites because I know that I already do love it. My favorite TV shows for the month, I have a couple. So since that I, you know, was so sick and had to just binge watch TV, which I know everyone's like, that's living the life, which it wasn't, but um, I finished Gossip Girl. Honestly, I wasn't completely in love with the show anymore, the television program by the end of the series. Maybe it's because it took me like years to finish it. I was just really slacking on it and you know wasn't lost into the storyline anymore. I was just kind of over it. So I finished that 
I'm just mentioning it just to say what my thoughts were and that those are my thoughts. I wasn't in love with the ending. Second show I finished was Orange is the New Black and I loved it. I unfortunately halfway through the last season I was like, you know, it's getting really boring. I'm really not liking the storyline anymore. Um, they, they need to start changing it up. It's just getting boring. And then one day I just was like, okay, I need to finish watching this series. I hate leaving things in the middle and not finishing them. So I picked up Orange is New Black and that episode was so good. And I was like, well, crap, I need to keep watching. So then I watched the next one and the next one. That by the time it was the last one, I was like, what? I want to keep watching. I, like the ending I thought was so incredible. And it just makes me more excited now for the next season. So Orange is New Black, good job of picking it up on the storyline and the plot and just having everything, you know, be a little more interesting towards the end because that definitely kept me as a viewer keep watching. And my last show favorite is Freakish, which um, stars... Uh, Liza Koshy and Megan Ring. I don't know how to say her last name. Megan Ring, Megan Rosette. She's a beauty guru here on YouTube. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I only want to watch it because she started in it and she was my, one of my first YouTubers that ever started watching on YouTube. So when she announced that she was in the show, I couldn't watch it because it was streamed through Hulu and Hulu um, didn't stream through international. It was only, I think, the US and was it the UK? I think so. But then recently Liza tweeted that it's now available like international, so I immediately searched it, found it sat down and watched it all one night. <laughs> so it is a short season, I think it's like 20-ish episodes and they're like 20 minutes, 22 minutes each per episode. So really like quick, you can like do a full face of makeup while you're watching the show to get ready for something. Um, I really liked it, it was a good storyline and I'm assuming they're gonna have a season two come out because the ending kind of like made me think they were going to have a season two, but great show, I definitely recommend it. My favorite movies for the month, I have two. The first one that I saw was Savages and that one, uh, has Blake Lively starring in it and I wanted to watch it years ago but I didn't and then I finally watched it with my sister um, towards the beginning of the month of January yeah and we really enjoyed it um, it's definitely a more mature serious content film uh, I'm pretty sure it's like rated 14 or R so for the younger viewers don't touch that movie until you're a little older, but um, I really like the storyline. I like the character Blake Lively played, huge fan of her. And then the other movie I saw was The Split, and I also saw that with my sister. We went to the theaters and saw it. And um, it was basically, you can look up the you know summary of the movie online, but this guy who had like multiple personality, it was like a multiple personality disorder type thing. So he thought he was multiple people, and he would act as multiple people throughout the movie, and um, he just gets stuck in this kind of crazy situation and the ending just like kind of plays with your mind a bit anyway um, so I watched that really enjoyed it highly recommend it pretty sure it's still in theaters for songs of the month I have way too many to list off like way too many but basically the best decision I've made this month is to get Apple music and little did I know I was gonna get it I told my sister for a long time I'm not gonna get it I'm not gonna get it I'm not gonna get it and then I got it and I'm in love and now I'm going to have it for the rest of my life because I just have come across so many good songs um, so I'll like put a little playlist down below or like a little list of the songs that are in my like recently added that the ones that I'm listening to and enjoying but I just wanted to point out a couple um, Ed Sheeran's new album is ridiculously good and I was obsessed with his darn I don't remember I, don't remember what album, I think it was one of, his, one of his first albums I remember being in love with which was like gimme love um, Ugh, the one with all those like older songs. Anyway, um, but his new album with the song Shape of You and Castles on the Hill, I'm in love with the sound of those songs. Like it's just so not him and it's so like out of his kind of bubble that like I love it. It's such a good change. My favorite YouTubers for the month would definitely have to be Liza Koshi. Koshi, I don't know how to say her last name. Um, she is so funny. I just like binge watch her videos and just creep her on social media because I think she's just literally the perfect person. Um, and her relationship with David is the cutest thing ever. So what's not to like about her? And then I don't know if I think I think I might have mentioned this before, like one of my Vlogmas videos. But I also love OK Baby. Um, Oscar and Kira and Little Levi are so cute, and they just. Okay, I know that obviously it's like a team effort video. Oscar does majority of the editing for those videos and I find that his editing is very good. It keeps the viewers very entertained and engaged and doesn't get bored or want to click out because he's constantly, you know, moving the camera angles, doing little things to make it funny and just change it up and make, just make you keep watching, keep the viewer, you know, entertained. And I really, I feel like I can't obviously relate on a personal level with that family just because of, you know, the way that it is. But I think that they're just so real and down to earth and easygoing people um, and they're just enjoying life and I love it and they're so cute so I'll link their YouTube 
channel link in the description box. Okay, so I have two food favorites for the month, and one of them would have to be these hot banana pepper rings. And you can buy these from like any grocery store, but I used to have them all the time on my sub when I went to Subway. And then my sister randomly asked my mom to buy them from Costco, and I was like, oh my god, these are the things that I always get at Subway on my sub. So now I literally put it on everything, like, not breakfast, but like lunch and dinner I pretty much use a lot of these, so they're really good. The Kirkland protein bars that you can buy from Costco, and I love them. I think it's like the flavoring that definitely helps me enjoy the flavor or the product that much more. There have been a ton of protein bars my mom and my sister have bought in the past. I'm like, eh, like they're okay, I'll eat them, but they're not my favorite. These are my favorite. It comes with the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor and the chocolate brownie flavor, and they are gluten-free, made with real chocolate, and no artificial flavors. It's 190 calories for one, and it has seven grams of fat and 21 grams of protein, so I think that's all that's important. And my last favorite for the month would definitely have to be my Rose Gold Beats 3. I think they're 3.0 3. Um, wireless headphones. And oh my gosh, I'm in love with these headphones. Um, it makes listening to music that much more enjoyable so when I'm going out and you know connected to my music app and then having Apple Music now as a feature with these headphones just makes everything more enjoyable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of long and ranty but I haven't talked to you guys in a long long time and I had a lot of favorites built up on the list to show you. So I will hopefully be getting out a video a few days after this one is uploaded to get a little bit more back on track. But um, until then, I will see you guys till next time. Bye.